God damn it. Don't look at that. I'm frozen. It's not me. It's not really me. There I am. Damn technology. Oh, wait. Damn it. This is the problem with doing two things at one time. You can't see the chat because it's fine. I'll figure it out. Uh, just do it this way. <clears throat> All right. Hi, everybody. Disregard. I'm doing, I've got two different streams that happen at one time sometimes. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight. We're excited. We're excited. I was just eating lunch. Forgive me. So here's the deal. I played Hollow Knight in 2018. Is this a reaction? I don't remember very much of it. So I'm going to say yes. Someone in the comments will say no. I wish you well few things of note if you haven't joined the discord join the discord if you'd like to watch gameplay i will be streaming hollow knight uh because it's been since 2018 that i've played it that will happen early may before zelda check that out twitch.tv slash marco meatball uh, yes this is going to be everything from the top through the DLC and some extras, it's about an hour and 50 minutes long, the stream. Things of note. My ears get tired. Uh, probably about halfway through this, I may get quiet. I'll be reading your comments. I will be enjoying what you have to say. Uh, I may just get a little bit tired orally. That's okay. Um, yeah, otherwise, we're good to go. Uh, just give me one second as I get that right. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll be doing some talking and then I will take some of these things that I hear and I will then uh, apply them to individual videos. Okay, so I just did uh, Radiant Vessel yesterday or Pure Vessel yesterday. Uh, I was going to work through my, you know, but anyway, let's go. That's really cool. <clears throat> isn't that interesting? So well, we start off like this, like uh, someone said this isn't in the game. That's pretty interesting. Uh, what? Please, Marco, if you just heard some OST, don't spoil it. No, I've already played the game. And this is live. You're live. Look. <laughs> Would Evad do that? I don't think so. But entering Hollow Nest, you instantly feel a sense of propulsion, a sense of dread, a sense of moving forward, a sense of entering into something new. So sort of like thrusting us into what is to come. And in this case, what's to come is entering into the City of Tears and all this other stuff. And so there's a real feeling of, uh, of, of starting. You know what I mean? Let's keep going. Mm. 
dirt mouth. What's beautiful about Dirt Mouth, and obviously this is from that abandoned village in the beginning, I believe, is the sort of sense of loss and the sense of, uh, it's only a couple instruments, piano and violin. And yet there is a immense feeling of expansiveness, of depth, of profundity that we don't often um, think of necessarily. We don't often think that two instruments, a violin and a piano, as being things that can create vastness and can create a sense of loss. And yet these two things are intrinsically used. Piano and violin are used all the time together. And these two instruments are particularly wonderful at giving us a sense of the emotions of sadness, of even happiness, yes, but of sadness and, and of weight and of, I don't know, there's something really powerful about that piece that's very uh, present moment awareness and a feeling of flighting times and, and, and you know, life moving very quickly. And uh, I believe that w w there's one solitary bug that we see, unless is dirt mouth may be the name of the bug, I don't know, but like, I remember you talk to somebody in particular and it's like the first place you visit when you go on your journey and uh, it's all blurry because it's been like so many years. Um, and so there is this immense feeling of pain there and what, what occurred and, and sort of like sitting in the weight of, of change, uh, which is really powerful feeling that uh, is, is very hard to, uh, you can talk about it, you can say it, but it's really hard to apply it to music. Uh, or it's very easy to apply it to music because it's so hard for us to apply it to, you know, your conversations or your day-to-day -day life. It's really hard to talk about the feeling and the weight of loss, but a piece like Dirt Mouth, shockingly, is incredibly effective at um, kind of cluing us into how uh, it can feel to sit in the weight of time. Pretty cool. Crossroads.
<clears throat> yes to the DLC and hello, Commander. Welcome. Hi, Joe. Welcome back. You're welcome, Soup. Hey, Borna sneeze. Hey, Ash. Thank you. <clears throat> so that's interesting. I think the um, obviously ambient music is really difficult to to do well. Um, ambient music can be incredibly boring. Uh, and a piece like this is great. <clears throat> I think of the uh, title, and when you're looking at music, it's always great to think about titles because sometimes it's really obvious and it's just called, I don't know, you know, City of Tears. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, I mean, it's sad. It's sad. Tears. Tears, we understand, typically are related to sadness, right? But when I look like, at a track name like Crossroads, Typically when we're on crossroads, it's, it's about making a choice and deciding on which path to go. You can go here, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here. In the case of Hollow Knight, uh, we're talking about a, a Metroidvania style game, souls Borny, whatever, you know, all these, these genre titles that we're giving these games. And, uh, and, and you're on a, you're on a track, but you can go in different directions and wherever you end up, you might end up somewhere good. You might end up somewhere bad. You might be fighting an enemy. You might find an item. You might go here. You might have to open this door, whatever. And what's cool about this is that the beginning is really, really ambient and it gives us like space to like explore and to make choices. And I recall uh, that being the one thing that got me really hooked on Hollow Knight when I played it in 2018. I was in Lausanne, France, and I had like four days with no internet, so I just played Hollow Knight for four days straight. And I remember being like, oh, I can go here, I can go here. Oh my God, I have like a lot of options actually. Okay, I know I need to go this way. And it was almost like this music sort of guides the player, or it guides the emotional like journey of you, the player, to feeling, like, okay, uh, this might go badly, but I'm going to go this direction and hope for the best. Likewise, I find it really interesting when the battle music starts with these, it sounds like Congo, Congo drums. I don't actually know what kind of drums those are. they are not Congo drums. Is there such a thing as Congo drums? Yeah, there is. But so like, it's interesting to me, like why Christopher Larkin uses those kinds of drums and like what he was trying to like elicit emotionally from those drum uses. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I'm just talking. Thanks, Sinatra.
Uh, I finished it. No. The basic ending. I saw a comment that said that that theme was basic. That's very funny that someone would think that this was an okay theme. That theme is very good. I don't, I don't recall. I've heard that. No, I didn't reach the White Palace. I uh, got, I think I got the, uh, I think I got the ending where you fight, you fight the sealed vessel, you open the sealed vessel. You fight the thing, and then afterwards, uh, I think you die. I can't remember. I remember being like, "That's the ending!" Holy shit! And no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't one hundred percent or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> some thoughts about False Night. There is that. Um, that's uh There's such an intensity in that, actually. So False Night. There's a brutality in that, and actually, there is um. There's, it's all about quickness and 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 speed and the when other okay so like battle themes are interesting to me because having listened to a lot of battle themes over the last year in change there is um almost every battle theme is intense and every battle theme has forward rhythm that is propulsive that moves it's a very fast tempo rhythms are very short sharp this one without exception however what I found kind of interesting in this theme that other battle themes do as well as you had this sensation of spinning and uh, unrelenting, that was really exciting to listen to because it really feels. You hear Luna in the background. Luna, what you doing? Luna, Luna, up, 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 come here, up, up, up. Daddy's working, okay? Be a good girl. Be a good girl. Look at me. 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 <clears throat> anyway, that was really intense, really fun. I like that it actually, it's like, it's super serious and it's really intense. And I don't know from whose perspective it is, whether it's Hollow Knight's False Knight. There's an intensity in that spiraling down sound. And also, the rhythm is really fun here. And I love, I love, I love the use of uh, pure instruments like the piano. Even though this is, I think, pretty sure it's synthesized, especially the chorus. I love that the piano is, as far as I know, it sounds like a real piano. You don't really hear, uh, ju like, just the piano used in... in, in um, in, in soundtracks, generally speaking, it's like not really done unless it's like a slow song. But in this case, every song has some sort of piano incorporated in it. And it's always typically the upper register, which is really interesting too. Uh, so that's cool. And then this is synthesized, but this is a harp. 
And there's actually like a hope in this right off right off the bat with the arpeggiation and ostinato. A little bit of wonderment and curiosity. Yes. Yeah, I really like this part of the game, too. This was when you went to the left, right? Hmm. Yeah, this is when I started to feel like, oh, this game, I this could be fun and I won't get, maybe I can keep exploring and see what else is here, you know? some bassoon action in here too which is really cool wow It's a strawberry. <clears throat> What's cool to me about Green Path, and I've, again, I'm, I'm like revisiting the soundtrack with you because I haven't heard it in, since 2018. And at that point, I wasn't really like, I love video game music, but I wasn't hyper focused on it like I am today. Every single soundtrack is like right here, and I'm like, okay, how do I talk about this? Um, What's cool to me about Green Path is uh, the the actual the optimism in it. And so from an emotional perspective, we have to think about like how we have to think about instruments. We have to think about instrument. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Cut the freaking steak for the one dollar. Um, <clears throat> like like Green Path is uh, is green. It, it's grass. It's touching grass. It's enthusiasm. It's excitement, you know. It's uh, it's joy. It, it's weird because even though you're fighting in that area, there is a goodness that comes from it, you know, and, and, and there's a quality there that is, uh, even though we have this continual melodic motive, of, even though that motive itself is kind of down in terms of like how it makes us feel, <clears throat> That song is quite happy. And you have to think that, that the reason why that song is happy is because we've got harp. We have the violin. We have like woodwinds. It sounds very foresty. It has a natural quality to it that isn't, um, isn't down. It, it's, it, it's up. It, it's a little bit of a mood boost. So, Also, 
Only 239 likes, but 425 concurring viewers. I mean, like, I just... Just kidding. <sighs> I'm sorry, master. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I know uh, someone said, I feel Green Path is more optimistic because it shows uninfected life, even though the creatures are infected, right? Yeah, they are. They must. But yes, like, like, uh, like the world somehow was able to restore itself and, and everything went well. Uh, great. <laughs> Let's go on. What do we got next? We have uh, a hornet. Yeah, so I think hornet, isn't hornet one of the bosses? Yes, I like this boss a lot. Look at what Miss Meatball got me. Listen to the buzzing. Listen to the buzzing. Mm. Oh, wow, that is so fucking gorgeous. I gotta, I gotta do a video about this track. It's on my list, Mister. Yeah, that's really gorgeous. That's such a nice scale upwards like that too. It's good shit. Yes, Wilford, yes. I do, yeah. Pretty soon actually. I love that ending too. That's a solid ending. So what I like about that, um, you know, uh, Hornet, what a great boss fight. This was, um, um, what I love about this boss fight is that you really needed to show up and, uh, and be present. And I love that there's only string instruments and I love that there's very much a Baroque interpretation there. It's very, very much written like a, uh, you know, a Mozart string quartet or a Beethoven string quartet. It's very, very classical in its nature. And it, and it, and it gives it way. I don't want to talk too much about it because it's part of the reason, just so you know, part of the reason in the method to my madness here with listening to these OSTs with you is so that then I can go away. It's another reason why I play the games on Twitch. I play the games and I listen to the music and I combine all that so that I can write some, like a really good video essay about specific subject matter. In the case of Hornet, and I'm going to do a video specifically on Hornet, and so I don't want to say too much about it, but Hornet has an elegance and a class and a focus and, and cunning and, and quick and boom, 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 boom. And I remember how difficultly hard. Hey! Hey! 
Hey! Come here! I remember how difficult this fight was. Where are you? Sit! You crazy girl! I'm trying to do some work, and you're being crazy! So, Hornet's a great theme. I really like that theme a lot. It's really good. You want a strawberry? Chat, does Luna deserve a strawberry? I see a yes. Luna! <laughs> so, oh holy balls okay mantis lords were a good fight too i remember them so reflection right like again reflection look at the text reflection what does it mean it means to reflect obviously but there is this inherent quality in the music of sitting back and reflecting on life on the mystery of life on the journey of life on the experience ah fuck this god camera I'm sorry. Luna! Luna, come here! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Luna, come! I don't know why my, my 4K cam link is being stupid. Just leave her in here. Luna, come here! Alright, we're back. Luna! Luna, come! I'm sorry. Luna's, Luna's acting up. Luna, come here and get some cheese. Luna! There you are. Come here. All right. <clears throat> Streaming on Twitch has made these much more relaxed, so just apologies for the relaxation of uh, this stream. I don't want to waste. I don't want to make it too long. Point is... <laughs> she did, but this isn't cheese. I, I lied to her. Uh, the point is that like that piece of music is intentionally written in a way that is slow, that is plodding. It makes us feel emotionally connected to the idea of reflecting on life and, and why we do the things we do and why things have happened. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I think that it's weird because there's an inherent melancholy in that, and there's a there's a quality of 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 morose and somber feeling that goes into that. Um, you want another one? You gotta go up, 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 so they can watch it. Come here. Come here. So, so that's really cool. It's really cool how a slow piece like that can can really profoundly give a feeling of. Uh, 
of reflection on, uh, on, on purpose and on the meaning of life. And, and, and again, we're talking about a game that if a person had no idea or no context, then they heard a, pe- a piece from this, they might say, wow, this is beautiful. And then you show them that it's like a game where you play as a bug or whatever the hell Hollow Knight is, uh, you know, a, a skeleton bug. And they're like, eh. and then you listen to the music and you're like, oh, well, this is actually really deep. And uh, I think that that's the thing that uh, video games have to really fight against. And what I'm trying to advocate for, which is hard because you don't want it to be too insular, is, uh, you know, look, like this music uh, is important. Is um, is that important? And, and I think that, uh, you know, I think a piece like Reflection can really help people that are just listening to music in general feel like, wow, I... I feel, I feel something with that, and that, that's ultimate. I don't know what that, that was just like a mouth fart. I feel like that's a really important thing to highlight. There is that this music can really let us sit in our in our like spirits and um, and uncover why we love things or or whatever. You know what I mean? So, guys, it's okay that our character is not the Hollow Knight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Mantis Lords are really great, too. Harpsichord. This is a great track. super cool i haven't heard that i don't remember that it's not amazing is that there's like this internal conflict in that piece too so you have this duality someone said that it's like the upper notes are are um are competing with low notes and i and i think that that's really interesting uh and you're welcome shifri thank you for saying i'm a good person i'm a great person thank you uh you know, it's really cool that this is basically Hollow Knight's version of a piece like Vivaldi's, uh, I think it's Summer. Yeah, I think so. And those fast, fast rhythms and the harpsichord. And the harpsichord was, a. if you don't know what a harpsichord is, um, harpsichord is a piece, um, is an instrument that was used uh, a lot in the Baroque and early classical time period. And you, you know the sound because we just listened to it. It's that first sound that we hear when this song starts. And in, in video game music, the harpsichord I've, I've noticed tends to represent nobility and tends to represent upper class and high class and old. And, um, and it's certainly that's a track that could certainly be heard and be like, oh, that's from the Baroque era. Did Handel write that? The answer is no, but uh, it's pretty cool how um, you do hear high society in that piece. Someone just said the whole theme reflects the mantis culture. The higher notes represent the better fighter. Mm. So high society. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> <You see? laughs> uh. 
Here's my wall art, by the way. That's just my ear. So that's uh, the Star Wars Last Supper. Millennia Blade of Mikola. Picture of my dad and I. Uh, a PlayStation 1 break, broken down. Kazuha back there. And then over here is Metal. Uh, is my YouTube plaque. And then uh, Metal Gear Rex and uh, Gray Fox for you oldies. Buff Pikachu there saying hi. And then a painting of uh, Dvorak, the character I voiced in Genshin Impact. And then a picture that my uh, that Mrs. Meatball's sister got us of uh, Luna as a queen. Yeah, that's a dope picture. And I just got a... Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so the next one is uh, City of Tears, which, of course, I've listened to. Yeah, I'm excited to put the uh, gold one next to it eventually. Can't believe we're almost at 200,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Is this the one that's in game? I thought so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Listen to the syncopated rhythms here. It's so nice to revisit this track. Thank you so much, Riffle. Thanks a ton. Uh, the polyrhythm. thousand dollars <laughs> all right so do you hear the uh that rain is really ever present there and it's interesting how the city of tears is symbol you can hear the dripping of the faucet basically when you have the drip 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 but something uh What's really interesting to me about vocal music like that <clears throat> is it, it's, it actually reminds me of, uh, of Rachmaninoff. Rachmaninoff composed this amazing piece called, uh, it's called Vocalese. And uh, something that singers do, and I used to do quite a bit, is, uh, is vocalize. And anybody can vocalize. Um, and vocalism is just like, Ah, right. That's just vocalize vocalization. And Rachmaninoff created a song um, called um, 
vocalies. And it's literally just and so on and so forth. And it goes on for like, I think it's like seven minutes. And what's incredible about that to me is that you can have a piece that is a vocalese and it doesn't need lyrics and it can still be incredibly powerful. And I think that that has to do with a couple things. I think one has to do with the power of the inherent uh, nature of the human, the human voice, uh, hearing, uh, hearing a sound from uh, a human, um, is incredibly powerful. I've noticed that vid video game tunes, if I get the hiccups while I'm live, uh, there's something about, uh, we use uh, females a lot in video game music. Um, usually sopranos, I've noticed, this goes for opera and classical music as well, that sopranos tend to represent, <clears throat> or tend to represent holy or celestial beings or children or, you know, uh, divinity. And, uh, and men tend to represent uh, evil or horror or maliciousness or virility and strength. And uh, it's really interesting to hear Amelia Jones here in this. That's probably very quiet when she's singing. And there's an inherent feeling of, uh, again, this whole soundtrack is very somber, even if it, even in its beautiful moments and even in its joyful moments and even in its solemn moments, there's always a feeling of sadness that pervades and, uh, it's really cool and, and, and sad. <clears throat> Let me restart Dung Defender cause that was loud. First time we've heard like real brass in here. What a hero, what a hero. So funny to use a clarinet too. satisfying you hear the heroics in there right with the trumpets definitely sounds like the main character of the game too it's dope how a sharp rhythm like that really good really good stuff i want to do that one on the channel too
Kind of yeah. reminds me of uh, the trumpet sh shall sound from Handel's Messiah, which is a weird comparison, but that's what it sounds like. This feels like winter. I'm sorry, uh, Luna stole uh, Miss Meatball's uh, <laughs> AirPods. And she destroyed my ones. It feels like a winter theme. Desolate. And exactly a mine and You can't see the reflection of my TV. No, that's not my that's my TV. Probably Camilla. I love the drumming here too. This is awesome. I nice to use those drums like this too. That forward momentum really gives you a sense of excitement. Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Feels like a guitar. It might. It, you know what? It might not be a guitar actually. It might be a uh, Eastern European instrument. Uh, no, I think it is a guitar. It does, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a guitar. Yeah, muted guitar. That's what I thought too. Yeah, and that's an awesome effect. And you hear it almost makes it sound more brutal in some ways, right? It's pretty cool. Fungal wastes. I like how this sounds like like a spy mission. Like sneaking around and stuff. Good night. Good night. Boom, 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 boom. Right. And that's pizzicato in the strings, which is invariably playful when we hear it in video game music. Um, um, and then the woodwind in there with the the clarinet. Boom.
I love that musical gesture. Ba -da -ba -da. <clears throat> Definitely has an, a mysterious element to it. It's a bassoon, yeah. Here's the harpsichord again to express age. Ah, uh, it's Mantis Village, which would make sense for why he reuses why he reuses the harpsichord because we heard it last in uh, Mantis Lords. <laughs> yeah, that's Toby. That's that's uh, Miss Meatball's dog. He, he's more like a cat, so we we leave him. We leave him to his own devices. Decisive battle. All right. Ish. Motive again. that motive so much it's really cool and the drums here too I love that there's a real uh desperation in that sound quality when it's like that you know what I mean there's something about there's something about that that pattern of pitches that feels really, really, really uh, anxious and feels really desperate, which is really cool. Um, I really enjoyed that. Master, can we please stop calling me master, first of all. Second of all, can you mentally pet the dog? Yeah, I mean, Luna? Luna? Where are you? You're under the, come here. Can you come up, please? You don't, why don't you just sit on my lap like you used to? Come here. Come here. Up, up, up. On me. No, don't go there. On me. Here. Come here. Up, up, up. Here. Right here. Don't you grumble. There you go. No, not Lord, not Snow, not Sire. Y'all are into that weird stuff. Soul Sanctum. Uh, 
Listen to the organ. Mmm, spicy. A sanctum. Sanctum. Sacred or holy place. You hear it. Yes, William. There's that motive, but now it sounds it now it has the air of of evil. but also religious at the same time. Here comes the drop. Uh, well, we will soon. Hmm. We're having some changes in... Of the crunch there. Here comes it. Oh, that's good shit. Lower. It's all the main theme. That is such a visceral experience. That is so visceral. And uh, and actually, I think that the organ really highlights how incredibly powerful that is. And it's otherworldly and profound and dangerous. And uh, I don't remember that in context whatsoever. So, um, yeah. Making me want to replay. Uh, resting Grounds. Okay, yeah. That's what, I, what Resting Grounds should sound like. <laughs> a 
again with the melancholy. So painful. Oof. That's beautiful. Super Queen's Gardens. like the harp very representative of queen identity you know The ambient music in this game is so good. It's so freaking good. And it's so difficult to make this stuff sound good. And, uh, and that, that did. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Queen's Gardens. No, I just did that one. The White Lady, my bad. It's such an interesting choice of instrument. Very, very, very like a savior. <clears throat> a partner in crime. 
really beautiful, really ethereal, out of this world, uh, holy, angelic. It's gorgeous. Of course, this is a broken vessel. rhythms It's really interesting to hear this and then hear Sealed Vessel, since it's basically the same musical structure and ideas. It's interesting how, uh, so because this is the precursor, the precursor, pre, pre, the pre, the pre, the pre, the pre, the pre, the precursor to uh, sealed vessel, even though they're the same, um, they're the same, so they're the same melodic structure, and uh, they follow the exact same pattern, and it's really fascinating how these two are the same but different in terms of their uh, volume output and their intensity, even though they are literally the same, which is really cool. Um, really cool. And, uh, and, and even though this one is intense, it's not as intense as Sealed Vessel. Kingdom's Edge here. Ooh. There's that motive. Super ominous. <clears throat> Super scary, too.
almost like floating through the sky emptiness around you. Absolutely feeling lost and confused and perpetually in a state of loss. Hmm. Nosk. That'll wake you up. Listen to that. Now that's ruthless. That's fantastic. That is such a good piece. It's unrelenting. That's so good. And the fade out when they die. It's like, it's incredible. Man, that is a good piece. Dream. <clears throat> Ah, uh, such a common thing to mess with the melody there a little bit. His name's Marco. My name? Uh, <clears throat> so actually, it sounded like they were using strings in that, actually. That wasn't a percussion instrument, but I'd have to take a, another listen, but it's actually, they were actually using, like, like, so this is a cello. They're using the bow and smacking the string against the against, they were using the bow to smack against the strings. My full name is Marco Meatball. Not, mm, I think, I'd have to re-listen. There's a new story for D2? I also go by His Royal Highness. It's a joke. 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 I'm just kidding.
Mark Hoth Meatball. Uh, no, do not call me daddy. <laughs> I do not accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I would accept that. This is non stop. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> You're welcome, Kron. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. That's very generous of you. Thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> Listen, chat, I have a quick question for you. Um, I was wondering how you would feel if we finish out the main game and then we do a separate stream for the DLC, um, Gods and, what's it called? Gods and Monsters? No, I forget what, Gods and Men or, I don't know. And then we'll do the extras as well because that's a separate hour. Um, and I'm starting to do this thing called, um, <clears throat> work-life balance. And, um, and I can sense that I'm starting to get a little bit <clears throat> tired and I don't want to, I want to give you quality, um, things to think about and talk about. So, um, if it's okay with you, I'd love to finish this off with a uh, sealed vessel radiance and hollow Knight, And then we'll go through the rest of the DLC hive night, you know, the grim troop nightmare King, all that stuff all the way through to Queens Garden Action, NPC Room Optional Song, City of Tears and Doors, all this other stuff. So um, let's finish up. Um, <clears throat> I definitely want to like digest this. And then uh, I'm really thinking not only because all of you actually love this game. And actually, while you're here, can you let me know why you love Hollow Knight so much? Because honestly, <clears throat> I was really surprised how much Hollow Knight is loved. And uh, yes, it will be a VOD. And I was sort of curious what your intention was and why you love Hollow Knight so much. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and, and so we'll do that. I'll, I'll push pause after Hollow Knight here at the end. And then, um, and we'll, we'll just do this again and I'll likely stream this in the next couple months. Although mid May through July is really rough. So if I do play it, it will be between, I honestly, I don't know. I, I, I definitely want to get to it though. I have uh, ideas for a video essay. I love reading these answers. It's really cool. So notice how this is such a different experience from Broken Vessel. And when it starts, it's really, really atmospheric. And... And then here comes the big... Almost like we're awakening, you know? We did White Palace. We just did it, didn't we? Oh no, we skipped it. Oh shit, I'll go back. No, I didn't mean to. I'll go back. I didn't.
I'll stream the rest on Monday. Mm. Man, that's incredible stuff. And this this shift is fantastic. And the, 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 the pain in this motive that we've heard for the last hour is deeply sorrowful. It's like steady climb, steady climb, steady climb, steady climb. And then the chorus comes in here. Thanks, gamer. Appreciate that. You to go. Thanks for that super chat. Appreciate that very much. Gosh. The flute there too, I think represents hope and the future. are not much bigger than this. <clears throat> I think the biggest I've ever had is a thousand. I've always been able to read everything.
that descending harp is Major. I love that resolution, the suspension, and uh, oh, and then we, oh, that's so nice. That's clean. Oh, Cuphead versus Hollow Knight? That's a tough call. I love, I love Cuphead. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, God. Same, same as... There's that organ again. Climbing all the way up. Bum, 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 bum. Syncopated rhythm. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Damn, it ends like that? Holy shit. That is so melancholic.
Lots of suspension here. Alrighty, folks, I'm going to rest to recharge. Uh, these music streams sometimes take it out of me because it's a lot to listen to. I will see you on Monday of next week. We will continue. Is today Monday? Today's Monday. No, today's Tuesday. So I'll see you Monday next week. We will continue this. We will finish this DLC extras. Again, I'm streaming on Twitch all the time now, pretty much every day. Twitch.tv slash Marco Meatball. That's where I will stream Hollow Knight when I choose to. Uh, if I can, I'd like to do it early May. I can't guarantee that. There's a lot of games. Star Wars Fallen Order, um, Honkai Star Rail, uh, Zelda, uh, you know, the, the, what's the Tears of the Kingdom, and then, and then uh, there's a lot of stuff. But we'll listen to as much as possible next week. Silk Song, sure, if we can fit it in there. Absolutely. If there's two of them, that's easy, easy, easy. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, much love. Appreciate you. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for lots of that news in the community tab, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Thanks for